quick look at how to do circle motions and spline motions with Moto Man. So quick thing though, first let me explain something with Moto Man or with the circles. So basically, we know that this is a circle. Now, keep in mind it's a uh, oblong circle. It's actually going to be a real circle. If I'm going to do a circle with Moto Man, I'm going to first teach a point kind of right here, and that's going to be a move C. Okay, when that when the robot goes in, it's going to go in, act like a linear, but it's going to all you got to do is record a move C. Then just record a, a circle at the top, and then one at the bottom, and that will give you an arc. So if you want a, a pure circular arc, all you need is, is three move C's. And if, if the Moto Man doesn't see three move C's, it freaks out. But if you want a, a full circle, all you need to do is, is basically teach a fourth move C kind of here, or the same, move C. So move C1, move C2, move C3, move C4. I have a demo set up, I'll show you at the end of this video. But that's how you do a basic circle in Moto Man. So you know how to record points, the same thing, just make sure it's a move C, not a move L, and that's how you do a circle. And if you only want to do half, just do three, not the fourth one. Now for a spline motion, which is basically uh, an arc motion. Say you have something that looks like this. It's not a typical motion that, that would lend itself to circles. What you would need to do is set up a spline motion, and what Moto Man's spline thing does is look for, the best way I can say, points of inflection. So what you can, if you divide this, so say here's a point, here's a point, here's a point, if I have three points, that is a parabola, right? Remember back to calculus. This is a parabola, and I can guess that linear arc. And remember with parabolas, you know, you can, this is a parabola, even this is a parabola, correct? So what Moto Man will do is calculate basically parabolas to kind of create this spline, this spline here. But here comes the rub. See if I have a little bit of a, a, a nub here. If I don't, if I do it like this, it's going to give me what they call a spline error because what Moto Man does is look at the at three, look at the, the three points. Can it calculate a good spline? Then it goes. But here, because this point is not basically in the middle of these two points, with then it can't calculate that parabola very well. So what you almost need to do is teach. Tons of little points along the way to kind of spot it out, basically at points of reflection. And you can always have, you can never have, to, the more you do, the more, uh, the more um, fine of the curve is going to be. Like when I went to training, they said that they did the, the creator, the president's face, doing nothing but spline motions, and they basically said, the more the merrier. So if you dot these out, because again, this is a parabola, this will be a parabola, this will be a parabola, but the big thing is that middle point of each one of those three point, three point triplets needs to be somewhere between the, the uh, for lack of a better word, like the 45, 55 degree of center, uh, if that makes sense. Um, if, so. So uh, here would be a, the three points, here would be a three point, 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 here would be, et cetera, et cetera. So if you have spline errors, it's because you haven't, so if you get a spline error, it's because you've taught points and it can't calculate that middle point very easily. So I'm about ready to go over to my lab, I set up a demo and I can show you this, where we do a spline and then we do a, a full circle. All right, um, and that way you can see actually how it looks on the teach pendant. So as you can see, here's what it would look like on a teach pendant. So I have a move J kind of already set up, and then there's my move S's. That would be my spline motions, and then, my, and then I have a circles right on, on uh, right beside. So I'm gonna go ahead and interlock test start. So I go to my home position now down. And now you can take a look how it follows a curve. 
Now, that wasn't too bad. Let me go backwards again. You can see the... And let's watch it on the teach pendant. So, let me go back and you can see it progress through as we do, the, do everything. Now let's look at the circle. And you can see how it's progressing the circle and it completes the circle full way around. All right. So I'll show you that one more time. And watch the teach pendant as it goes. Okay. And for those that want to see what this, the teach pendant looks like, here is here's what I just did, what it should look like. Now the speed should be slower for you because you're in class. But one more time as you now get a, a sense of what the, the job looks like. So you can see how it should. There so I'll show you that one more time. So there's here's the spline. And here's the circle. And yeah, it's a little wide because I didn't draw it right.